Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to go over Mira and different things you can do with her and how to play her properly. Alright, to start a few things. One of the things Mira has to worry about is Twitch drones. So you'll notice she comes with a shield and a C4. If you can't really watch for the drone at the moment, you have to place the mirror, go or reinforce something or do something else. You can place the reinforcement and then you can place the shield to stop the drone from getting through the doorway since the Twitch drone can't jump. Just be careful that it doesn't look through one of these cracks and then shoots the mirror. You just gotta make sure your placement is right. Another thing I want to point out with the mirror is the two different kinds of mirrors you can do. There's a crouch mirror and there's a standing mirror and you can put these on exposed walls and reinforced walls. Now these mirrors it's kind of difficult to hop over them since the update but I'll show you how you can still. You just have to make sure when you place the crouch mirror it's as low as possible as you can get it. There are slight adjustments you can do with the height even if it's not just crouch and standing since you can't move your mouse up and down and change how it's placed. So since this one is the lowest possible, it's actually easy to vault over it both ways. As you can see. Also with crouching mirrors, the reason why you want to play crouched mirror is so you can pre-fire, come up and pre-fire whoever's standing there. You see them and you can easily line up a headshot and get them pre-fire their head before they can even respond back with a shot. For standing mirrors on a non-reinforced, for standing mirrors, I would put these on a reinforced wall because your more of your body is exposed below the mirror, and they could just easily ash charge this mirror and it would be gone, making it kind of useless. So I have my hold to my lean to hold versus toggle, which most people play with, and that's just so I can lean faster, and it's helpful when you play mirror, so you can peek walls, peek around the mirror faster, and line up shots and pre-fire it. So if someone's in the closet there, I can get them quickly. Versus having it set to hold. I mean, having it set to toggle. I have to press it twice, which is kind of difficult. So I prefer to have it to hold. Even though it means I'm going to be kind of doing like finger acrobatics with how much I'm moving my fingers, touching my keys. Being able to quick peek like that is a serious advantage. Now that I explained the basics with mirrors, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few spots that you can use mirror where it would be useful. Whether it be a normal double mirror or something a little bit more unique. Either way, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video.